only on BBC America. We will find you somebody today. Someone perfect. Not just a flatmate, but a friend. And, well, you never know. Ugh. Any caps? Caps? They make me eczema flake. Bradley can't be near them either. He likes them, but a bit too much. And who's Bradley? Python. Is this a one-bedroom? Only I don't mind sharing. <laughs> that really won't be necessary. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I was living at home, but my mum said she couldn't stand it any longer. Stand what? I think we've heard just about enough. Jake, there's hardly anyone left to see. Maybe we should be... You are joking. Hang on a minute. This isn't where that paedophile was living, is it? What? And you must be the husband. The hit-and-run killer. That's enough. You're telling me if people found out that I was living here, my reputation would be in tatters. Oh, get out. These people make me sick. Murdering child abusers. All of you. I'm so glad you were here. It's okay. Why can't I have my old life back? Coffee? Yeah. Thanks. You know, you better make sure we get this flat, unless we're never going to reignite a spark. Is that what you want? No. Well, you better make sure that pedo's sister likes us then. What? I can't believe you said that. <laughs> it was your sister that got sent down for it. Don't blame Nick. She was just telling the truth. Well, all the more reason to make a good impression. Oh, you know what? I just don't think it's a very good idea. It was you that suggested moving out. But like you said, Nancy's not my biggest fan. Well, just use some that rustling charm. She'll soon forget everything. I don't think it's going to be that easy, but... Um... Well, what's she going to want to know? Well, then we can pay the rent on time and we're not going to be a nightmare to live with. All right, then. I'm dead easy, mate. Ross. All right, you can give up a vibe sometimes, you know. <laughs> you just better make sure we get this place. Because if things carry on the way they have been... We lack a word. About Max? If that's okay. Look, you've got no right to treat him like this. Maybe we should come back, eh, when you're not so busy. No, we're not going to just let you push him around. Max is sick. I'm just trying to help. Don't think we haven't worked out what's going on. More than I have. Driving by, this place, everywhere you're not protecting. I did try and warn everyone. It's important to look after your security. <laughs> you don't provide security. No? No, the money we pay just stops you doing any damage. No, that hurts. Yeah? Well, you're not getting another penny out of me. Your choice. I never force anyone to do anything they don't want to. You can't threaten us. Let's not get carried away. All I do is offer friendly advice. You intimidate people. What's friendly about that? Yeah, I'm not scared of you. Really? Why, well, leave Max alone. He's been through enough about you poking your nose in. Why don't you tell Max to come and talk to me if he's got a problem? He's not well. And I'm just trying to keep his business open until he recovers. Now, if you don't mind. Yeah, well, this isn't over. Maybe not. Still, your choice. Take care of yourselves. Dead lovely. Really modern. Yeah, it's really nice. Nancy was only looking for one person for the room. Yeah, but you've had couples living here before, haven't you? I mean... Before his sister put mine in prison, you mean? Well, your sofa's really nice. We had one just like it in Marvin Green. How is, um, Becca and the baby? Can I have a quick word? Yeah. Babe, I think we should go. We're not going anywhere. This is perfect. But nothing. This is ours. I don't have a choice. Have you even thought about this? Well, at least they're sane. You think about who they are. I need someone to move into the flat now. And who else we've seen that even comes close? I don't care how hard it is. I just need to hang on till Becca gets back. Um, assuming we don't see anyone else, the room's yours. Yes! Oh, oh, leave her alone. <laughs> oh, thanks, I owe you one. <sighs> Hannah's lying. She shouldn't be saying those things. Yeah, I know. You and Craig. We're fine. We're fine. Good. Don't let her ruin it. Are you all right? Sure, Paul? I mean, we should go after him. 
I do. Craig, do you want to come round later? What is wrong with everybody? Come on, Sarah, you must be loving it. We need to get him back on his feet. If we all pull together, we've seen Warren. Yeah, Max, we can help you, but you need to let him know he's got a fight on his hands. What if Obi spoke to him again? Wait a minute, he'll be back. He just needs to get his head together. Yeah, you will get Warren out. No, that club is yours. No one can take it away from you. Exactly, we just need to keep the pressure up. I mean, a crack in the end. Yeah, show him we're not scared. Right, I better get off. You told me you're coming. In a minute. I was hardly likely to smash up the place ten minutes after talking to you, is he? Well, maybe I better go with him. It'll be all right. How thick am I? It's all in your head. What is it that I do that says walk all over me? Please, Craig. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Firstly, Darlene. Now, Sarah. What's she done? You tell me. You suddenly started fancying her. What was it, hmm? The way she dressed? Look, Craig, you just. Something she said, maybe. I just liked her. And what's she think of you? Where's all this come from? From having had enough or being treated like a mug. Craig, Sarah likes you, right? Only you. There's nothing going on between me and Sarah. Right. So why does everyone say there is? Look, so what if people fancy her? All right? You should be pleased. Pleased? Well, pleased she's lapping it up or... Flattered. Flattered that out of all the people that fancy her, she likes you. And where do you fit in? I'm just another one of the guys who she's not interested in. <sighs> Look, would... Why don't you just stop listening to all the stupid comments and enjoy having a fit girlfriend? No. No way. I'm not letting it happen again. Craig! Getting stressed like this.